Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sesame. There's a video here today. It brings my top five favorite sites to use as a graphic designer. So I went ahead, picked out five really cool sites. Wherever you are in like the experience kind of field, I went ahead and just put five sites that I think that you guys can definitely really truly enjoy. So I wanted to do this video for a long time. However, I wanted to make sure I only pick sites that I know for a fact that you guys can use if you don't use them already. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. All the stuff you guys see in the video will be in the description down below. Uh, with a few more of the things that I want to put in that I couldn't fit in the video, but if you guys have any any really cool things that are like not in the video here today or in the description please let me know what kind of like resources or it's like uh, I don't, uh, resources influence and kind of like just literally anything that will just help motivate some people in design and help them out in any way possible so let me know what I'll probably putting dot com or dot net because I don't think YouTube will show it so love you guys oh, oh love you guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you guys soon let's do it all right, homie. So the first site that show up a lot of you guys is called remove.bg. Remove.bg is a super easy source for you guys to help cut out backgrounds that have focal points, such as for a lot of people that's cutting out people. So for a lot of designers, the usual select object or even the new object select that came out recently, and then using like layer masks and uh, brushes to fix the cutouts is a super great option. Or the case of using a pen tool to come on an image, or even like using a quick selection tool, and then using the shortcut Q on your keyboard for a quick mask mode, and then kind of coloring around where you want to fix the mask. Even though those options are super easy and viable for most designers out there, there's also a few designers out there who just still do not know how to cut things out properly, and that's pretty much what the site can be used for. It's a free resource for downloading the low quality cutout images. However, guys, a quick tip you can actually do to get around the low quality file size that it'll give you is you can actually see the actual downloaded file size you'll get right below the actual download button. So all you have to do is take that same exact file size and put it inside Photoshop take your newly cut out image from remove.bg and your original image and put them in the same exact document size that you guys just created. Then all you have to do is select the thumbnail of the cutout image by just holding control on your keyboard to get the marquee selection. Then you can click back on your original image that is not cut out and is also way higher quality and just use the layer mask option to just really quickly cut it out. Then you guys can of course just grab it and move it back to whatever document size you actually need to be in and uh, ta-da, there you go. So yeah, I'm saying, if you guys are ever having issues with cutting things out, remove.bg is a super solid spot to go for. Next site, friends, is a place where I was actually newly introduced for icons. It's called The Noun Project. If you guys are anything like me and you have to do designs, for example, like stream packages, and you have those things, those little icons I would usually have right next to the words like new follower, new subscriber, even people who are even in like web design. This site offers awesome free icons to use in HD as well. Something I think a lot of you guys can really fall in love with and enjoy as I use it myself when it came to my actual stream concept, and I thought it just, the icons they gave me were just like literally what I was looking for. One of the really cool things is you can even rotate, flip, and like even change the color of the icon before even downloading it. I think it's a super awesome site to bring light to you for a lot of designers out there. Okay, so this next site is more like a plugin. You still gotta go to the site to actually even get the plugin, but it's called Lightshot. A lot of what the screenshot community uses generally is known as Gaiazzo. However guys, with Lightshot, you guys see me use it a lot in my videos and my streams. It's activated by pressing the screenshot button on your keyboard that pretty much allows you to select any area like usual screenshot programs would. However, with Lightshot, you can choose to draw, make lines, quick arrow directions, change color of whatever you're doing it with, and even write text on the actual screenshot itself. Then of course you can upload all those marks that you made very easily, the same way with like a cloud upload service that of course, again, many screenshot services have. However, when uploading, I mainly use the control C and control V option, of course, copy and paste, to simply copy and paste anything I'd like to just share with my friends and my clients. It comes super in handy with drawing on your screen to show corrections to a certain design that you'd like to make, or even just like a note to yourself. One of my favorite ways to do it is actually just giving feedback to other designers and just taking screenshots of their projects and kind of like pointing out where I think things can be fixed and tweaked, which is super helpful for a lot of people. A really great program that I think you guys should truly, truly, truly download if you guys do not have it already, of course, using the regular print screen and all that good stuff is dope, but this one for me is probably the most top tier one when it comes down to it, but honestly, if you're, if you're still using Gaiazzo, bro, like nothing against it, but like, you know, it's just not light shot. All right, guys, next up is something I feel that's actually really, truly underrated, which is Adobe and Google font sites. First, when talking Adobe fonts, if you guys have a Creative Cloud account, it doesn't even require you to even download the font. All you guys have to do is actually just activate it through the site and it'll appear in your Adobe program. The filters on the left side of the page really help those in search for specific fonts for their projects. It even offers a really cool quick preview text for every single font listed on the actual page simultaneously. Something a lot of professionals use across the board because every font you actually see on Adobe fonts and Google fonts are all free for personal and commercial use. So if you're stuck on looking at places like Defont or Behance and trying to figure out where to actually find some new fonts, try out Adobe and Google fonts to get those projects looking right. 
Okay guys, so the last site for this video, since we talked about the Elite Print Scheme program and some fonts, something I use to find similar fonts that I love in projects and I see around the world is known as What the Font. What the font has helped me in never having to really ask people, hey, what is this font? Because it comes in handy to be able to drag a picture I saved with a print screen that shows the actual font, to then proceed to a list of all identical fonts that could be the one that you're looking for, or something at least super, super similar. Granted, most fonts shown from what the font are purchase focused. You can highlight the font that you would like to get and paste the same exact font name in Google with the word free at the end of it. And you can see if the actual font author has personal use versions or weights available. Most times through my searches, I've been able to find some really cool free versions of the font that I've been looking for. And honestly, you won't have to now go crazy for like, what is this font? What is this font? And uh, you know, it's just one of those things, one of those things that you guys absolutely should know of because it does come in handy. All right, homies, that is the end of the video here today. So as always, if you guys did love the video, please be sure to leave a like. And I would also like to know what kind of websites you're using, whether if it's for like uh, influence, a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of like resources, anything basically without actually having .com or .net, because you're probably going to get like deleted from YouTube um, in the sense of the comments. So don't do that. But just put like the, you know, if it's like, you know, if it was like Behance.com, be like, yo, it's Behance. Go check this out for this reason. I would like to know some new things as well. And of course, I do have other things that I did not mention in today's video uh, in the description down below with their links as well so please be sure to check them all out um as always guys i'll talk to you guys later seso hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys much love later